You betray the trust and the confidence of the Gambian people. You dismiss the constitution, yet you call yourself a man of democracy. Mr. President, who pounds his chest calling himself the borough of roads and bridges, must remember that in 2016, when Gambians came together to vote, there were serious problems, more crucial to the nation than those of roads and bridges. When Gambian people marched to the polls in December 2016, they joined together to uproot a tyrannical dictator. The new regime would spark the hopes of many hopeless. It was a new day in the nation. But the euphoria would disappear very soon. As we see President Barrow firing and hiring ministers, as in the days of Yaya Jale, we all know the tables were turning, the coalition was crumbling, and the draft constitution dismissed. Now with the backings of the constitution, President Barrow coaches the nation as an executive president. He is no longer a coalition player. He would form his own political party, part away with old friends, and then seek to be re-elected again as president of the country. But the president have more to tell the Gambian people than those of roads and bridges, cements and concrete and metals. From military insecurity to food insecurity, the rocking rate of crime and corruption in the Gambia, we the Gambian people cannot be, will not, and shall not be insensitive to these catastrophic unfolding realities just because the president is talking about roads and bridges. His refusal to address the reports of the TRRC, killers are on the loose, the nation is trembling in insecurity. But the president continues to pound his chest as the lion chaser with a misrepresented pride, pretending to be the pastor of Gambia's democracy when he defies the Gambian people and threw away their constitution. As he did with the Memorandum of Understanding, it was Barrow who won. The Gambia lost twice. Let it be clear right here and now. Let the president be told. 